What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com. Had a lot of requests for this tune, so I'm going to give it to you. I'm going to give you two different ways to play this. So it's great for two guitars to play it together. You do need a capo for the uh, first kind of folky way. Uh, hopefully you got one at this point. Uh, also, if you want to get deeper into learning guitar, and it's also where I take my requests, I've got my email list down there. You can sign up for it or just click the link and check it out. Send chord and scale books, other videos that are not on YouTube, and then also you can reply with the song requests, and I compile them up. So anyway, check that out. I really appreciate it. But let's zoom in, and we're going to learn this tune right now. Here we go. All right, people, so I'm going to take the capo here, and I'm going to put it all the way up high, all the way up to the eighth fret. Remember, I'm going to teach you two different ways to play this. This is the first way. And the main idea is that two guitar players can play this together. One guy playing one way, one guy playing the other way. So here's the capo version. You only need three chords, and <clears throat> it's, pretty, it's pretty easy, you know, because it, it's fast. It's fast, however. But uh, we want to just strum down, and we're going to play a D shape here. And just pretend that the eighth fret is uh, zero, okay? So actually, I'm gonna scoot it back a little bit so I can fit my sausage fingers in there, in that little spot. So we're gonna take a D chord. I'm gonna show you a couple of embellishments, but right off the bat, just real fast, you can do all down strums. <laughs> okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Then we're going to play a G7 chord. So my ring finger is going to go th uh, three frets up from the capo. Middle finger on the second fret of the A string there. Index finger on the first fret of the high E, and you get what's called G7. It's a bluesy chord. And this really is just kind of a basic blues progression, but kind of folkified and hippified. Ron Burgundy fied with some flute. Okay, so you got one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, back to the D for four, two, three, four. Then we're going to play an A7 chord. You play A major. But you could play an A7, which just kind of helps me fit my fingers in there, and it's just second fret on the D, second fret on the B, and you got one, two, three, four, D, two, three, D, 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 G7, got to get to D, and then we hang on A, till we go back to the D. Now, if you're getting tired from all down strums, you can alternate it. And I do both on this song. Um, Eventually it goes to the next section. All the same chords, it's just G7 to D, then A7, back to D. Does it one more time. Then we do a G7, back to the D. We've got an A, back to the D. So there's a little kind of ending thing that happens twice. So it kind of does a G, D. It's just D, G, D. But that down D is the beginning of the rhythm again. So it's like. OK, 
Okay, one more thing you can add <clears throat> to that D chord is two sh two of those, you know, I just did four strums there. Two of them have the index down, the next two have the index up, and you're getting this little boogie, little bit of a boogie rhythm going, and then the other guitar player plays the straight up Chuck Berry boogie rhythm, and when you do them together, they sound really cool. Whether one guy's on acoustic, one guy's on electric, both electric, both acoustic, doesn't matter. So watch. something really fun about putting the capo way up high on uh, the guitar for that real add some jinglies and some janglies and some janglies and some jinglies jingly unchained jangles unchained okay <clears throat> here is uh, the alternate part and when you put the capo that high up and you play a D chord you end up with a B flat you know, in, in concert tuning or whatever, you, you're really playing a blues in B-flat. So for us to do that without a capo, we're going to play a power chord right here starting on the sixth fret. So it looks like this. So that's the first chord, just like we were playing that D up here. Same chord, different voicing. Okay, the second chord is just right next door. We call that E-flat. <clears throat> back to the B, flat. Then we go up a whole step, which is gonna be the eighth fret, power chord on the A string, back to the B. But what we wanna do is, and if you can, we're gonna add our pinky up a whole step from our ring finger. It's gonna help, you're not gonna, if your hand's kinda out like this, look at my elbow there. If it's out like this, you're never gonna be able to reach. If I move my elbow in, to the tip of my uh, rib cage like that, it gets my hand and my fingers to kind of be parallel with the frets, and it's gonna be easier for me to do that stretch. So watch. So I'm just adding it one time. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. This is that chord. was lesson hope you got something from it I had a lot of fun teaching it to you and I had a lot of fun hanging out with you too so if you want to get deeper into it you can click that link down there and check it out otherwise I'll see you in another one of these video lessons real soon take care <laughs>